Yeah. Welcome to Barton Talks. I'm Notara. I'm Jeffrey. And today. Today we're gonna be first talking about um what exactly the show is. This show is Barton Talks. We are going to be where you get your news from and where you get your uh, tea from. Your tea. Your tea. So after we after this you're going to basically have a good understanding of the school. You're basically going to know, well, what is going on? What's going on inside these walls? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about you? Um, I'm a senior. I'm in the medical assistant major. Um, I'm excited to get out of these. Uh, I'll be nice. I'm excited to get out of the school, you know? Um... Honestly, I'm excited for the show, but I'm nervous at the same time. How about you, Jeffrey? Um, yeah, now, I've been doing this for a while for all my people who know JNN. If you know, you know. You know, you know. <laughs> you know, you know. I'm telling you, if you guys also want to hop into the JNN train, you can also hit me up in the halls. <laughs> mm. Oh, my snap, right? Oh, my snap. Where the hood is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll, 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 we'll give you a at, at the end, right? Yeah. At the end. We'll do like, you know, you know the vibes. Um, so Jeffrey's gonna give us like a rundown of, of like informations and stuff. Important dates. Maybe. Important dates, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna first start off with, 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 in my opinion, the most important date, the marking period ending. The marking period is ending the 29th. Get whatever you need to get done, y'all. Work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Work. We have one more left, y'all. One more. Especially seniors. Yes. Especially, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your work done. I thank you for help. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, our next date is the um, Barton Party. Also, the 29th. It's going to be very, yeah. very interesting. It's seniors only, if I'm correct. Seniors only. Right? No? no? It's not seniors only? Oh, damn. That sucks. I thought it was seniors only. I'm not gonna hold you. But, y'all know, y'all know what, what goes on in bar air parties. If you don't know, if you're like a freshie or a sophomore, you'll find out. But, um, for you to be able to go or to attend, you have to have, um, passing grades all around. Um, honestly, keep it up. If y'all wanna see, it gets pretty ghetto in there, but y'all see, y'all see what happened. <laughs> All capital, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So next, um, we have two trips coming up. Um, one we're not, I mean, both of them we're not supposed to say, but one will be happening in June. Um, the one in June is for everybody, so. The other one is for seniors only, so stay tuned and come back for more information about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, we will also be having a spring break, which I believe is, I don't have the exact date. It's April 15th through April 24th. Mm -hmm. April 15th through April 24th. That yeah. is a great time for you to also get whatever work that you need to get done, done. So yeah. remember to take time out of your day to get that work done. Yeah. Very, very important. Not just for the school, but for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now. But also I, enjoy, you know? Also enjoy, enjoy your spring break. Enjoy your spring break, too. But at the same time, get the guy done. So you have any plans, Jeffrey? For spring um, break? I have no clue. I don't know. I'm gonna let God do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I respect so, that. But otherwise, thank you for taking your time out of your day to be yeah. with us today. <laughs> My name's Jeffrey. I'm Natara. And this is Burton Talks. Yeah. We'll see you after these messages.
now we have a special interview for you guys please help me welcome the one the only miss more james hello thank you so much for having Hi, me miss more james how are hey, you girl, how's hey. your day my day is going well it's going pretty good thank you for being our first interview on the show or the broadcast so we have some questions for you miss more james if oh would you like to introduce yourself before we get started the one the only miss more james um i'm the college and career counselor here and i'm also the cheerleading coach visit her at 220 220 and also follow us on instagram at cbhs underscore college office all right miss more james are you ready to get started let's go all right First question is, what message you have for our graduating class, class of 2022? You see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote it down, and it says, behind you are all of your memories. Before you are all of your dreams. Around you are all those who love you. And within you is all you need. And I think that that's pretty much self-explanatory. I have a lot of high hopes for this senior class. Um, and I know that you all are capable of excelling and succeeding at anything that you all put your mind to. And I'm here to support. Are you going to miss us? I will. As you should. I will. Um, <laughs> what steps should the seniors be on their college application so far? So at this point, they should have already completed their college applications. Um, right now, you guys should be focusing on completing your FAFSA, which is the free financial student aid. In addition to the TAP, if you have intentions, well, everyone in general should be completing the TAP application, which is specific to New York State residents. So the FAFSA is money that you get from the government, and the TAP is additional money that you get being a resident of New York State. In addition to completing that, because we're all about where the money resides, um, at this moment, seniors should also be looking into um, securing, like, securing the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's exactly what you all should be doing that at this moment, securing the bag, the okay? Cash money, respectfully. Scholarships, all of that. Um, what advice you have for the kids that are like failing, you know, and do you think they can make it um, by June to graduate? So I'm going to start with the second question first. Everyone is on... Um, Everything is situational. There may be students who are able to get it together in time to graduate in June, and it may be some other students that may be prolonged a little bit, so maybe August, maybe January. Um, I can't say as a whole. It'll all just be depending on where they're at in terms of their academics, mm -hmm. um, how many classes that they've passed, and where they are in regards to their credits and regions. Um, in regards to what advice I have for all of those kids on in general, just keep pushing like you're literally at the finish line and you just need to do what you need to do to, you know, get it together. If that requires you going to night school, Saturday school, extra tutoring, whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that you graduate, um, you've come this far and I would hate to see you come four years and then just give up. Um, giving up is not an option at this point. And we have all of the support systems in hand, um, you know, to help guide those who are struggling a little bit more than others to completing high school. Sure. Make sure to graduate on time, y'all. To not stay behind. And go to gym because you will not graduate if you fail gym, okay? <laughs> Go to gym, please. I'm begging you. Just do like two laps, even though I hate it so much, but it's okay. Get 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 that 85 at least. You yeah. know? Um, I know you spoke about financial aid. Um do you think everybody should um sign up for financial aid, do their fast FASPA? Absolutely I don't think they should. I know for a fact that they should. College is very expensive unless you got it like that. And if you do, then Pay me out so I don't have to work anymore and I can just, you know. Add me too. Call, call me too. I, yeah, I want to live my best life. <laughs> um, but financial aid is definitely a necessity for sure. Um, college is not, uh, is, not, is not cheap at all whatsoever. 
Um, and the last thing that I would hate to see, just speaking from my own personal experience, where I did not fill out the FAFSA form my freshman year um, because I was just doing what, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing at that time. Yeah. I'm a first generation college student. So, um, and just learning from my own mistakes is definitely important to fill out the FAFSA because again, that's free money that you're getting from the government. Um, a portion of it, depending on the loan, you would definitely have to pay back once you graduate, but it's, it's, it's um, paying out of pocket is not something that you want to do, yeah. um, especially if you have like a $40,000 a year tuition. And private student loans is definitely not the way that you want to go to. Um, either being that like Sally Mae, for example, they have their own regulations, they have their own, they just, private loans have their own things be in private sectors. Yeah. And it's easier for you to get it with the federal government. So you see how we went through the pandemic. All of our student loans were on deferment, meaning that we didn't have to make any payments. Mm -hmm. However, with the private loans, those who have private student loans, such as myself, still responsible for making those payments regardless of what your, um, your income or status is. So it's a necessity that yes, you do have to fill out the FAFSA. If you guys have no clue what that is, Go to 220, Miss Moore James. And go to studentaid.gov. They have all the information that you need um, to know. They have it translated in different languages, if a language barrier may be an issue for you or your family. But all the information is there, you know. Um, and like you said, if you need any assistance, feel free to come to 220. Yeah. Um, last question. Um, what do you expect or you need for the upcoming seniors, the juniors now, um, mm -hmm. to do like the fourth fall 2022? So at this moment, um, the juniors should be working on exploring their college list. Um, the expectation is that by the time they come in in September, they should already know the list of CUNYs, that, the six CUNYs that they're going to apply to, the seven SUNYs that they're going to apply to, and any amount of private or out-of-state colleges that they're going to apply to. That'll make our job 150 times easier and just knowing where you want to apply to so we can just get the ball rolling with submitting your application, submitting your FAFSA. I will also say at this time, as your parents are beginning to file their taxes, gathering those tax returns. Next year in, uh, in September of 2020, where are we in? Oh my God, September of 2022, <laughs> they will need their parents' 2021 tax returns. So staying on it right now that we're in tax season, making sure that you're speaking to your mom or your dad um, and getting that information gathered for you. So September is an easy breezy and by like October before, Thanksgiving break, the goal is to have all of our juniors, which will be rising seniors, apply to colleges. Listen, from personal experience, do not wait late. Please do not wait. Do not do that. It's really, it's not fun. I'm stressing out. Yeah. Please don't. Because I came here with three gray hairs in September, and I don't <laughs> know how many I have right now. So do not wait until last minute. It'll only stress you out. And two, you want to be getting your acceptance letters when all of your peers are getting their acceptance letters. So the later that you wait, the later that it will take for you to get your acceptance letters. Um, and you just want to make sure that you're on track and on target. Listen, let's get a nice outside, senioritis kicks in. You don't want to be here later than you need to be, okay? So, yeah, the, um, right now, just focusing on getting their college list together um, mm -hmm. and gathering those tax return documents that they'll need next year. Yeah, do not, do not be lazy, because I'm at that point. I'm just waiting. Don't do it, please. Um, do you have any last words for us, Ms. Moore James? Before? Congratulations to the class of 2022. You all made it. Yeah, you all survived the pandemic. <laughs> Two years, no school. I'm very super excited for you all. I'm excited to be a part of your transition out of high school, and I'm excited to hear, you know, and see where everyone is going on May 1st. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Moore James, for being um, the first person that got to interview I mean, it's not me, then who? <laughs> and I'm a proud Barton alumni as well. So. She did. She is. I'm um, not going to tell you the school year that I graduated, though. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the end for Miss Mara James. Please visit her at 220. 
for more information about college. Thank you. Now I'm getting some breaking news from Pascal on the third floor. Pascal. Thank you, Nathara. Now for the hallway forecast, it's looking cloudy with the chance of raining 55s. So please get to class. Now, as you may see, our hallways are being painted blue. Now that is our panther colors. So please, once you're seeing them, just show some panther pride, guys. So now that is it for today's hallway forecast. Now have no, have, no, no. It's, have a great day, Barton. <laughs> Thank you, Pascal, again for such a good report. Um, now we're gonna give some shout out. First and foremost, shout out to Miss Moore James. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Pascal. Um, thank you to Valentine, Tiandre, Aaron. They're our um, production crew. Shout out, and also shout out to us. Yes, most because to the host. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, again, follow us on ClaraBartonHS.org. You can see it. Follow us on there. Um, Jeffrey, would you mm -hmm. like to shout out? Yes. I would like to shout out a proud sponsor of this production, JNN. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, those who, for those who know, you know. And for those who don't know, you you're know, gonna know now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to know soon. Most certainly. <laughs> follow, please follow me on my snap, Jeffrey uh, underscore S85. I mean, Tell them sorry. how to spell Jeffrey, because most mm -hmm. people don't Yeah, know. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y mm -hmm. underscore S8151. Mm -hmm. we'll put it Stay tuned. There. That's a five. <laughs> that's a five. Oh, is that's that a five. Is that a three? Is that a three? No, that's our five. That's a five. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and we're also going to sponsor our our um Mr. Myerson's YouTube channel, yeah. um, at Myerson Products. Meyer level. Meyer what? Meyer what? Meyer Lele Production on YouTube. Uh. <laughs> we'll we'll get to that later YouTube. on. We're gonna put yeah, it. Yeah, we're gonna we'll, put we'll, it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so now let's continue to go because things are slowly escalating in the set. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. We're yeah we're now going to shout out our JNN. Yeah. <laughs> JNN News Network. Um, Follow him on there, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's gonna look weird because they're gonna uh, search you by search. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna. It's all right. It's mm -hmm. all right. It's all right. It's all right. Mm -hmm. all right. We're going to um. Um. But yeah, shout out to AV. Yup. Mm -hmm. Shout out to shout us. Shout out, man. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to Mr. Myerson. Hell yeah. Shout out to Mr. Myerson. We're going to... Let's give you some applause. Yeah. <laughs> um, see you guys mm -hmm. next week. Anything else? Yeah. Um, My um snap ad is um Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y underscore S-8151. Mm -hmm. Follow him, y'all. Yeah. For JNN News. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you get the tea, your local tea, your button tea. But anyways, this is the end for today. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Deuces.